This is uh, the second version of a garden light that I made. Um, the only difference with this one is it still uses the QX5252 chip. This time I use a different uh, inductor. I didn't actually have the inductor that Mr. Freddy W1 used. He used a 33 micro Henry. I was using in my first light, I was using an inductor I got from this power supply. This is, I think, 22 gauge wire and about 15 turns. And it is wired to the second and the fourth pin of, of this chip. Yeah, keep it in focus. Anyway, when I first switch it on, it actually didn't work. And I wasn't sure why it didn't work. Then I found out it was the switch that I was using. Maybe it was corroded a little bit. I, I am not sure. And uh, it's, it didn't lit because the switch was bad. So I'm going to install another switch. This is nice and bright here. The contacts. So it should work. And uh, like I said, it wasn't working, and I was, I was trying to see what was the problem. And uh, let's see here. Okay. So without the switch, it actually works. Some of my other lights, I didn't bother installing the switch. The switch is a good idea. When I connected all the connections, I thought, oh, maybe I did something wrong. Maybe this is the wrong kind of inductor. Mr. Freddy W1, he's going to try to use uh, a lower micro Henry. He's going to use, I think, a 10 micro Henry instead of a 33. And it's going to draw less current. This is probably going to draw more current. But I can always double up the analog battery. I can put another one in there in parallel. Uh, I'm going to use it as like an exterior light and I want it to be brighter. So this time I use four 10 millimeter LED. And yeah, it, since it's going to be on all night, hopefully, um, and at its exterior I wanted to have more brightness to it and I'm gonna try this solar panel this is a 9 volt actually and I want to charge this well I have other solar panels it just so happened this is from my Harbor Freight and that light is not working well it's, um, the battery is going dead I have a set of uh, NC batteries they they just won't charge so all I can use this is a 6 volt I'm gonna try this Harbor Freight because it has a bracket it is adjustable so I'm gonna try this with this battery and if it doesn't last a whole night I'm gonna add another one and it should work better so I have maybe about eight more of this chip and depending on uh, Mr. Freddy W1's experimentation, uh, it, when he finds out which inductor is best, uh, I, will, I will use those or not. I have no idea as to the inductance of this inductor. I've seen similar size inductors with fewer turns to be maybe like uh, 35 micro Henry. So I estimate this to be a bit higher, maybe 50, 60 micro Henry. But um, that's not that important for me now. I'm just trying to see how different inductors would work. So this is a solar panel here, if I shade it, 
it would come on. By the time I finish building this light, it's 5 o'clock. I brought it outside to test charge it. And the battery voltage was 1.32. There's no sun practically. And I'm going to come back uh, when the sun sets and see what the voltage will be. Um, maybe I'll make another video tomorrow and then you'll find out even if, even this, if there's no sun, if this 9 volt solar panel will charge this 1.2 volt anti-loop battery. Okay, we shall find out tomorrow.